Guys, welcome back to part two of what was meant to be just a very, very quick video about the, the nudie brute nut and the fact that I'm using them now as workwear jeans. You see, what happened was this. I went off script, or not even I went off script, I just didn't script anything. Which just means that I tend to talk a lot and just have a conversation with myself that goes any which way. The problem with that is it takes really a long time. So when I was editing the video together, it ended up being 25 minutes long, which is, and that was just before I'd even recorded the, what was going to be the last part, which is going to end up being the third part. But anyway, that's, that's far, far too long. So I was like, okay, just split up into two. Turns out I've split up into three. Anyway, so in the first part, which is going to be a link up in one of the corners, in the first part, I looked at the fit and I talked about the denim. I talked about the inspiration for the fit. And in this part, we're gonna have a look at the fades and we're gonna have a look at the measurements of the jeans before I wash them, before I wash them at 60 degrees. And in the last part, which I'm gonna film just in a second, I'm gonna see what the results were, like what actually happens to selvage denim when you do wash it at 60 degrees. Like, how did the fades turn out? Did they shrink down at all? I don't know, I mean, like, the, the, the jeans are here, all sort of out of the wash and dried now. Yeah, so that part's coming, it might have already come, depends when you're watching this. And now I'm gonna hand it over to my past self. Okay, so what have we got first? Right. Um, around about the pockets, we have got yeah, quite some fading. And again, this is not going to be from like two days worth of work. So yeah, I, I obviously, I use these things quite a lot. On the inside of the pockets, you can see the pocket bags, which are absolutely manky. Yeah, this, this is exactly why I'm having to wash them because the pockets bags, which are meant to be a nice unbleached ecru cotton are greasy and yellow. Then over at the coin pocket, and this is something I also find strange, that there's absolutely, I always carry my Zippo in, in the coin pocket if I can. There's no sign that I ever carried a Zippo in the, these jeans. It's maybe I blacked out and had like a Tyler Durden moment for a few months wearing these jeans. Over towards the crotch, yeah, again, quite some fading that's indicative of me riding my bike a lot and, um, wearing the jeans for a few months. But what's strange for this denim, there's, for this denim being, being so light, there's very little sign of, of like a crotch blow even starting. In fact, there's no sign of that. Interesting. Yep, we've got the 2015 Samsung phone fades which funnily enough was still the phone that I was using up until a few months ago. Guys, don't renew your technology unless you really have to. Save your money and spend it on jeans. Over towards the back, uh, back leather patch. I always found nudies leather patches. I mean, this is veg tanned leather, I think. I think it's genuine leather, but I always found them a little bit dull. They never patinaed all that nicely. So yeah, it's just, is what it is. Quite some wear on the Belt loop at the very back, which is quite normal for me because I'm always wearing a rucksack. Uh, where was it? Another side? Yeah, here on the left hand side, this belt loop that's uh, at my hip, it obviously got torn off at some point and it's been repaired by somebody somehow. Decent enough repair job as far as it looks like. Maybe even that was done by Nudie because that's kind of how they repair things. They sort of glue a patch onto the back and then sew over the top of it. it. It's very good for that kind of thing. But this kind of patching method on the crotch is a disaster because it uses so much fabric that it bunches up and you feel like you've got a wedgie constantly. I actually made um, my, my very first pair of project, pair, project jeans, the New Day Average Joes. I love those jeans. That was 18 months straight. 18 months straight, no wash. And they were disintegrating by the end of that. Sent them along to the nudie store. They did a fantastic job patching up the knees, patching up down by the ankles where the cuff had worn through. They also did a piss poor job of patching up the crotch because they used this like denim patching method and just so much denim on top of the other. It was, it was almost an impossible repair job to be honest, but still it made the jeans 
unwearable after that, just really, really so uncomfortable. Okay, more fades, more fades, more fades. Back pockets, tiny bit of wallet fade, and I think, see, this sort of lighter patch here? I think that's from when I used to wear like a, a bigger trucker wallet. It was from the flathead that had a, a, an attachment for a wallet chain on it, and I always used to get sort of that fade right here. Yeah, down on the, the honeycombs, we don't have, the honeycombs aren't that stark. Yeah, a little bit of fading, but nothing, nothing too strong. And I think that will be, that'll be due to the, the lighter weight denim and that bit of stretch. So it doesn't really like, it doesn't, it doesn't really crease and stay there. So it doesn't really get too much friction on the high and the low points. I'm guessing that's why. So that means that you're going to get more of a vintage fade, like um, like overall as you wear the jeans in. And yeah, so those are the fades that will have happened when I was wearing them. And the the muck and dirt are actually, yeah, I, they feel very dusty. I was sanding off plaster and I was doing some painting as well. So they've got lots of paint splashes on them, which I actually find looking very, very cool. That's pretty much it for the interesting part of the of the fades. Okay, that's a bit better. Because you see, if I light the videos just from one side, like having the light coming down like in a Rembrandt painting, it gives the illusion, or at least I hope it does, that I've actually got cheekbones and I'm not just a hamster. So the reason that I'm actually wanting to document all the fades on these is I'm about to do something that I will wholeheartedly recommend that any denim head never does and I'm gonna wash the jeans at 60 degrees. And that's going along with kind of my, my nonchalant attitude towards these jeans. And the fact that I want these things just to be a practicality of everyday life and not having to molly coddle them all the time. And I'm also just curious. Anyway, yeah, I've got like a, a load of washing that I need to wash anyway, like uh, towels and, and sheets and things. I always wash those at 60 degrees and I'm just gonna, oops. Yeah, I've got to wash those anyway, so I, I'm just going to throw these in with it and I'm going to turn them inside out. Of course, that's just, we're all civilized, right? We're all civilized people. I don't know if this makes any difference whatsoever, but top button done up, fly done up. Inside out. Walk a little bit about how disgusting the pockets are and then in with all my towels and all the other things that I don't mind washing at 60. Now I'm going to make one concession to the denim head lore and I'm going to use detergent specifically for, for dark stuff. And I'm also going to use some of this which is like antibacterial hygiene spooler. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's antibacterial stuff you wash. And I find that this really, really helps in the long run not to get fusty smells. Yep, I, I, I wanted to take the measurements. And also, I wanted to do this because quite justifiably, you guys would you'd crucify me if I did something as dumb as, as washing a pair of jeans at 60 degrees and not doing a before and after measurement comparison. Right, so that's gonna take um, kind of a while. You know that, that 220 that it said on the display? That doesn't actually mean 220 minutes. That doesn't mean two hours, 20 minutes. That is just an indeterminate, quantifi unquantifiable time scale that my washing machine seems to work on. It's a tease, basically. So I'm gonna be getting back to that. It's gonna be sometime tomorrow, but the time I, the, the washing is finished, by the time I hang them up and by the time that they dry, you don't actually need to see me hang them up, right? Yeah, that's fine, you've seen that before. Use the hooks. So I'm gonna hang them up, wait for them to dry, then we're gonna have a look at the fades, we're gonna have a look at how much they've shrunk, and then nobody's probably listened to this anymore because I've been talking for a long time. This is what happens when I don't script stuff. Might even make sense to make this a two-parter. And if I do, if I did, then guys, thank you very much for making it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a thumbs up would be amazing. That really helps out, helps the channel grow. 
And guys, as always, I hope you're happy and healthy out there. Hope you're taking care of yourselves. Hope you're taking care of each other. And we'll see you in the next video.